Hey guys, welcome. I'm Dat from Centropolis, and this is Him the Alien, my co-admin. And we're here with Kip and Stone, and we're going to ask him a bunch of questions. One of the hottest topics in our community is modding. So I have to ask, what's the plan to support modding in the new game? Of course, that's the uh, first question. <laughs> Dat, oh. um, yeah, so uh, Maxis obviously has a, a long history of um, uh, working with the modding community uh, with their games. Um, and it, it's pretty cool to see what the SimCity 4 community is still, uh, it's very active, it's still modding. Um, one of the ones that stood out for me recently was the, uh, the Mars mod, I thought that was really cool. Um, so just to you know, take us back a little bit, you know, SimCity 4, our bat tool, we didn't release that until about a year after launch. Um, we're so focused on the game, we have not announced any plans uh, for modding, so just to be um, real clear. Uh, but we are bringing folks in like yourselves to, to come in, take a look at the game. Um, you know, I think people need to wrap their head around what this next SimCity is all about. Um, and you know, we, we want to show you guys the tools and really um, just get, get to see how we built this game. And that's kind of where we're starting right now. So one of the questions we wanted to ask about kind of the depth of the simulation. That built a city that was all oil, you know, refineries setting out the field, the whole nine yards. So if I build a trade depot and I plot my four trucks and refinery and I'm pumping the oil out of the ground and I've got say 12 trucks are moving the stuff around, do those trucks reassign themselves? Yeah, so there's really two kinds of trucks in the game. There's the local trucks and then the global market trucks. So the local trucks, they'll take goods from that trade lot and they'll deliver them within your city. So for instance, if you had an oil power plant, they'll take oil from that trade lot and they'll drop it off at the oil power plant so that you keep having power in your city. The global market trucks come from outside. They go in and each global market truck has one type of resource that they're going to pick up. So if you have a lot of different uh, trade lots, say one for coal and one for ore, you'll get two kinds of trucks come in, one for each type of resource. And that's the same when you have a train. The train will come in with different cars on the back and each train car will hold one type of good as well. Um, and just, you know, because you were kind of asking about glass box logic. And, and so those trucks, actually, if you had multiple of those trade depots, for example, those trucks will look for those similar sinks. So one truck from a specific trade depot might actually go back to another trade depot and, and work with um, uh, the different resource lots. So they kind of, um, they're, they're free to, to jump around after uh, once you've placed them. So in the uh, the dev beta and the closed beta, the global marketplace was pretty broken in that there wasn't enough people playing, so you could really easily manipulate <laughs> prices mm -hmm. and, and, and crash a commodity. So how are you going to account for that when the, the game goes live? Then? Yeah, so a lot of the global market is really about statistics and having a lot of people playing it at the same time. So you know, around the office, we only have about 100 developers, and so it's possible for one person to crash a market just by selling a lot in the morning if no one else happens to be playing. Uh, but when we get thousands of people, tens of thousands of people playing at the same time, the statistics will start to balance out, we hope. Right. Um, so we haven't had a chance to do these large-scale tests on that with tens of thousands of people. Um, but I think the way the math is set up, we're actually okay with people trying to get together and force prices down or up. And it should be kind of a self-balancing system. Like if everybody gets together and says, let's raise the prices, then nobody's going to buy. And so all those people that are raising the prices aren't going to have anybody to sell to, and then they'll just be sitting on goods that can't be sold. So we're hoping that it will self-balance itself as people try to do these things and manipulate the market in different ways. Okay, so there's no plan for Maxis to step in and tinker with the economy. You'll just let it run free and wild. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we do have we do have the power. Uh, yeah, to, and we've set the high prices and the low prices, so we can we bound both the high and the low, and so it can never get you know, bigger than what we said, I can never get lower. Okay. So we should be expecting to see OPEC, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're hoping that the players actually do get together and try to form cartels and, and things like that. I think that'd be great if the community tried to manipulate markets. That's just part of the game. Yeah. Cool. So can you tell us more about this announcement of multiple servers? How's that going to work? Um, yeah, so there are, um, we, we just announced with our closed beta that we are going to have multiple servers. And so um, uh, what, what the cool thing about that is originally um, you had 10 save, uh, 10 region save slots, and now you have, uh, can ha actually have 10 per um, server, which is um, really cool. So that's more, more games to play for everyone. Um, so if you, you could create a game on any one of those servers, you could have a presence on any one of those servers. Um, they are isolated worlds. So um, the global market, for example, on the North America server is not going to um, interact with the uh, Europe server, for example. So um, if you want to um, 
create an account on each one, that's fine. And so what we probably recommend is anyone forming these kind of guilds and these groups, definitely um, get a you know get a plan ahead of time and make sure you guys pick a server where you want to play. Um, one other thing about the servers is they are um, named by regions, but they're actually, you can play wherever you'd like. So um, you're not going to notice a performance change in any one of those. Um, so people in Europe, feel free, jump into North America server and play. Cool. Been having a great time playing the game. Want to thank the Maxis people for bringing us out here. Thanks for watching. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, and in part two, we're going to talk to Ocean about roads.